for us it has been a cost benefit to have this technique. Of course we would like to keep it to ourselves. but We're in the race now because we didn't have it at all before. The market loves it. So. We think we can sell more definitely with, with this te technique. It's the future for us. From the beginning we were a large size screen printing company for many, many years. But since the beginning of 90s we also started offset printing. And since the beginning of 2000 uh, we also start digital printing for large size and also uh, A3 for, for uh, format. So today we print everything from business card to outdoor campaigns you can say. And brochure books and everything in between. My name is Niklas Bille, I'm Managing Director in Billes Printing Company, which is a family-owned company since 53 years now. So I'm the third generation running Billes and I've been Managing Director since 2000. As a company, we have uh, been uh, working a lot with uh, getting the CO2 uh, uh, down a lot for five years, and we have uh, re reduced it with 75%, which uh, we have used uh, green electricity and green heating, and we have uh, taken care of the heat from the machines in, the, in the, our systems in the building, so we are uh, actually uh, self-service on, on heating with help of other machines and so on. So we have been working a lot with it. We are one of few uh, climate neutral companies in Sweden since five years and uh, right now we are uh, having a lot of ads in Swedish media where we recommend Swedish print buyers to, to uh, produce climate neutral products. We have made big investments in 2013 and 14, and uh, that has made a good uh, effect now on the on the increasing uh, volumes. We have a 70 by 100 offset department, and we have large size offset with the Scandinavia's largest offset press, the KBA Rapida 205. And then we have digital large size printing with uh, several different machines, UV, latex and solvent, and also textile printers for uh, textile. And then we have uh, digital printing A3 with Indigo machines as well. It's a special point uh, for builders the, 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 with the, the variety of uh, machinery we have here. So, so it's uh, almost easier to answer uh, what we don't have. We have started a new little company which is providing uh, digital signage solutions for retail companies and uh, yeah, whatever applications. We think that's a, a good complement for all the print, printed matters we provide today and uh, we think digital signage definitely will be something really big in the future. It's already quite big and it will definitely be even bigger in the future in, in different uh, in environmentals. Uh, now we are in our 70 by 100 department. We have two roller machines, one 705 and one 708. And in the 705 machine, we installed four months ago uh, AMS uh, LED UV dry equipment, and uh, which is, makes a lot of uh, benefits from the traditional production we had before. Uh, we were falling behind S -s -s -uh, a few of our uh, competitors that, that have traditional UV technique.
it's, it's a technique that, that uh, dries the ink with UV uh, spectra. It's basically a, a drying lamp, you can put it like that, and um, it, uh, it's placed in a way that, that the, all, all the sheets are, are passing and it uh, flashes and, uh, and instantly it gets dry. So it's a very fast drying system. Uh, we started with uh, one of them, the Roland 705 plus varnish. Uh, to, to uh, make sure that everything really works as we hope and want. And we are uh, planning for the next step to also install in the 8-color machine. Uh, I think you have to respect that, that there is a learning curve. Uh, it's, uh, it's described to me that uh, the window that you, you have to keep the press within is smaller, narrower in, in this technique. So, so you have to put, uh, pay attention to, to keep all the balances right. You, you have to, to uh, of course, do, do the testing and the profiles uh, and change it accordingly, but, but uh, it's also a matter of uh, keeping the balances in, in, in the moisturing water and the chemistry uh, and so on. So, so it, it was a bit of a challenge the, the first weeks and the month even. There was many different reasons actually for, for, uh, for uh, why we thought this, this te technology were really interesting. The old technique with, with, the, with the mercury bulbs, it, it wasn't very environmentally friendly. One was better printing quality on uncoated paper which we wanted to achieve when the possibilities were shown to us. It uh, made ozone and, and uh, it smelled uh, rather bad, uh, rather high heat. So, so the lead technique uh, helps us to, to, to get rid of all that. Better printing quality, uh, shorter lead times with uh, no drying times and uh, possibility to print on more different materials. You can say that were some of, some of the reasons why we were interested. In offset business you are used to uh, long drying times before you can do the finishing and uh, it's uh, a lot of hours sometimes for, for waiting before you can start and uh, the world isn't going that way. But the post press department is really happy because of the dry times is uh, uh, zero today. Uh, so far it's, uh, it's been a success on the uncoated paper part but of course we print uh, coated paper as well and now we've got the opportunity to print on all, all kinds of materials which we haven't done yet in, in uh, not that many orders, a few, um, but we got the possibility to print on, on different materials and we can uh, even print white now. So, for instance, on a, on a black paper, which is a nice effect. It works really well. And we have also tried some projects with some different materials, which were not possible to print before. So, but we have uh, more to do on the market side to show it more to the customers, and we are working on that. Exe example for today, we have 24 customers coming on lunch. So, uh, and then we invite them and show what we can do with the new technology, and we hope they will like it. It's, uh, it's pretty new, so, so uh, we're expecting more, more to happen in that regard. But we've, uh, we've had a lot of happy customers, especially those who choose to print on uncoated paper. The, the sheets are dry when they come out of the machine, so we can run them straight into the post-press department, if necessary. So it gives us more time. Uh, and sometimes we can even tell the customer that we can we can deliver a day uh, before, if, it, if necessary, so it's very good for It gives us a better control of the production. Uh, since, uh, again, on uncoated paper, it was twice the time for coated paper for, uh, before it was dry, so it was 48 hours, and now it's one hour. So that's a tremendous difference. The ink itself is more expensive.
so you have to, to do the math to see that you can uh, get the money back in, in, in all the advantages that we see. And uh, we've done that, and I think that, that it is a good overall uh, economy in this. Well, I would say that, that uh, it's all about the time. Uh, the time is, uh, is money, and, and we can get more jobs through, have a shorter uh, time delays between the jobs, and get it out of the house and uh, to the customers. Uh, so th that's uh, a lot of money for us. Uh, we saw it as an opportunity to get a, a competing edge uh, and uh, revive the offset business. Uh, so we, we looked into it for a rather long time before we decided to th this is the way to go. Uh, I think it's four months now since we started production. For us it has been a cost benefit to have this technique. Uh, and it has turned out very well. So It's a good thing and of course the market loves it. So, so uh, there is the big uh, thing for us. We think we can sell more definitely with, with uh, this te technique and uh, we, we think uh, that there's a lot coming and, and this is the way the, that the market is going and our competitors too. One of the reasons is the, the better print result on uncoated paper which we print quite a lot. So that is one reason for doing it on the eight color machine uh, as well. Uh, but the machine is now eight years old, so uh, it's, I, I don't want to spend too much money on a uh, too old machine. So uh, we are parallel, we are thinking about maybe buy a completely new machine with LED UV installed from the beginning. Definitely, we, we feel like we're LED UV is the future for us. Now we are in our, in our large size offset department where we have a KBA 205, four color plus varnish. And uh, we print a lot of posters for outdoor, outdoor advertising here and uh, multi sheet billboards and uh, posters for retail companies. We think offset still has a big advantage on, on many jobs. Uh, so, but we also have digital printing in, in indigo machines. And uh, we are thinking about the uh, Indigo 10,000 as well right now. Uh, but uh, we still they have uh, the different kind of projects where they are uh, really competitive. So we think st still offset for, I think, for quite many years in the future will be competitive to do digital printing on, on uh, specific uh, productions. Which makes sense. Competition is good, <laughs> and I think we are quite competitive in, in, for many reasons. One of them is we have uh, developed the really uh, a lot of uh, uh, web solutions for. So over 60% of our incoming orders today is coming from diff several different uh, web to print solutions, which is make us very effective on the administration and uh, and the pre press. So uh, and uh, we, we th think still we are really competitive. Uh, of course, we, we can feel the competition from, from uh, east of Europe and uh, south of Europe and so on. But uh, we still managed to, to uh, do quite well. Uh, our strategy the last year, years has been to, uh, to uh, make more and more different products. So everything from en envelopes and business cards to outdoor campaigns and textiles and, and uh, everything in between. And for us, it has been a good way to, to a good result last year. Uh, yeah, now we are in uh, the newest part of our uh, building and here we have digital printing, large size printing and A3 digital printing. And the large size digital printing we have several different uh, machines, flatbed UV machines, uh, solvent machines and uh, latex machines as well. And two uh, textile printing machines as well. quite new, more, less than two years, most of the machines, and uh, the building is as well two years now, this new uh, uh, area where we are now.
Now we are in the A3 digital printing department. We have two HP Indigo machines running in three shifts and we produce a lot of different uh, print jobs here. From business card to brochures, books and uh, whatever. M uh, suitable for HP Indigo machines. So, so we have a, right now quite a nice mix between that, that we can um, do the, the most uh, suiting jobs in uh, each press. Uh, they cover the total range of uh, business printing, but they don't cover all of Sweden. So I'm responsible for uh, south and western Sweden. Uh, Niklas is responsible for Stockholm. Ah, it's probably uh, all, all, uh, the, the offer we have, all, all that we can offer under one roof. That we uh, got so many things to offer to the customer that we uh, are. Uh, an, an all-concept production unit, so we can we can help them with uh, more or less everything. We have started, and we are in the process. It's, it's quite new for us, so, so we will uh, exploit that that avenue a lot more. Mm. They have told us that it's a lot better, so it's hard uh, because of the marketing we, we uh, do for ourselves all the time. It's hard to say if they already knew or if they're just happy. So, uh, but one thing's for sure that they can very clearly see that the result was better and they even contacted us to tell us that. We have chosen not to, 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 to do that uh, at this stage. We, we're looking for more customers. So uh, we might, if we see that um, everyone is as happy as those customers that already are, uh, we might have a chance to, to, get, to earn more money per, per job, so to speak. They haven't quite noticed that yet, but we, we've got a few competitors that, that have traditional UV. So um, we've got an, an, uh, an edge over them now. And uh, uh, primarily we, we, we're, we're in the race now because we didn't have it at all before we had traditional offsets. And so now we can compete uh, for, these, for those uh, high quality orders that we couldn't before. Hard to say, but, but, but I think it's, at least it's easier to, to get the price you want. But uh, the competition is still fierce. So. Oh, very important, because uh, we were falling behind. S -s uh, a few of our uh, competitors that, that have traditional UV technique, and now we're in front instead. So. So it's very important. It's a segment of the market that we were, where we were falling behind and now we're the leader instead. <laughs>